at newschannel9.com. Outrage from a mother who says a Durham school bus driver left her children unattended for almost an hour on a school bus. Alana Floor joins us now live and tells us what the bus company told us that they're doing about what happened. Alana. Josh, can that mother brought her kids here to this bus depot on Dodd's app? And she wrote a letter to Durham saying that there was no explanation as to why the driver should have left her two children in the cold, in the dark, all alone. Every morning, a mother who also works as a Durham bus monitor brings her 13-year-old daughter and 7-year-old son with her to work. She says she puts her kids on their bus around 6 with the driver, and they leave the bus depot about 5 minutes later. She followed that same routine Tuesday, but says she got a text at about 6.20 in the morning from her daughter, saying the bus driver left them behind. Today, Durham admitted the driver switched buses that day because of a maintenance issue. According to the letter the mother wrote to Durham, the driver told a dispatcher there weren't any children on the original bus. The mother says she contacted the dispatcher who found her two children safe but alone on the bus around 6.50. In the mother's letter to Durham, she wrote, quote, there is no reason this driver could possibly give to explain why my children were left on bus 381 for almost an hour in the cold and dark alone. We showed the letter to neighbors who live near Dalewood Middle School, where one of the kids goes to school. I'm just... Uh... I, I just, I'm just speechless. I really don't know what to say. When we asked Hamilton County Schools about the incident this morning, they said that the information hadn't made it to their transportation department. The mother of the children is a bus monitor, a position added as a direct result of the Tally Road bus crash that killed six children in November 2016. A Durham driver was behind the wheel during that crash. Bows still hang in memory of those six lives lost. Neighbors who live near where the crash happened say bus safety of any kind was heavy on their minds. I really feel bad for that parent and uh, the children. We know the concern of the bus safety for the children. I have a child myself. Durham says that they are still gathering a few statements about what happened and that disciplinary action is pending, but they won't tell us exactly what happened with the driver in this situation. We also checked in with the Hamilton County Schools communications officer. As of this morning, he said the, the transportation department, department wasn't made aware of what happened, and they told Durham that they need better communication in the future. They said that Durham assured them that that would happen from now on. Reporting live in Chattanooga, Alana LaFleur, News Channel 9. Thank you, Alana. The Hamilton County School Board approved a two year contract with Durham back in April. The board debated that contract for months after the Woodmore bus crash. A 74 year old Murray County man dies in a house fire early this morning.